Okay, everybody, happy Sunday. We've already been hard at it for a couple hours, renovating the Casa bathroom. We are deep in the project now, and uh, Bobby came down at 9 o'clock. We ran down and got some uh, mortar, and we got some more uh, cement board. You remember yesterday I had that uh, piece of cement backer board up here. I wasn't happy with that at all. I picked up some new hardy backer board. I really need good, clean, square corners in here. And I wasn't achieving that with the uh, cement board, so I went ahead and got some more hardy backer board. This is the uh, cement board, pressed cement board, and this stuff is wonderful to work with. You can get good clean, uh, good clean square lines and everything, so I went ahead and cut that out, and I'm in the process of putting that up. But yesterday, while I was on that uh, stool, that, that small step stool, it doesn't have any rubber feet on the bottom, and unfortunately... I cracked out some of the uh, mortar at the edge there that you can see. So the last thing we're going to do today, we're going to mix up some mortar and um, I have the same kind. We're going to mix up some mortar and patch that and stay off of that for, uh, oh, till, uh, well, probably next weekend to let that cure good. And the floor will be a lot more stable once we get the tile set down because the tile, of course, is porcelain and it can really take the, uh, take the weight and the pressure. Uh, but, you know, I hope to really get this uh, wrapped up in here today and start getting around the side. We also want to put uh, cement board on this side. We're going to be tiling this side of the wall and then starting with drywall in the corner and moving out and uh, drywall in the corner and moving out there. So, all right, so that's the plan today and I'm going to stick to it and get okay, going. Okay, moving right along, just setting our... Uh, corner piece now and we've actually started to uh, move out of the shower and as I mentioned we're going to be uh, adding tile to the uh, wall next to the toilet there and uh, mounting our grab bar and all that so rolling along pretty good it's getting on about noon been at it for about an hour and a half so uh, you know adding uh, blocking or the wooden pieces behind here and there to give uh, extra support is very important where the seams come together that uh, there be some wood behind there or else you have this uh, phenomena of uh, flexing where the uh, board moves in and out and you don't want that because if somebody leans on it it can crack the tile so you want to make sure this thing is as rigid as it's can be it's getting hot guys that heat just pours down from that uh, attic up there Whew. Anyway, you can see we have made uh, significant uh, progress today. Let me move the uh, ladder out of here. We got that, uh, the uh, wet walls all done here. We got the uh, cement board up on this wall. We got the uh, cutouts for the uh, niche and we got a real good, uh, real good square. All the uh, corners are going to be good. We'll come back later and fill in with uh, small pieces of backer board here and fit them in there get them screwed down but you can see over on the wall over here we've also made a lot of progress in getting some of the uh, sheetrock up today and uh, you know that basically that whole uh, that whole oh east wall is all uh, is all roughed in now and now we're gonna see about uh, I don't know if I have the energy to tackle this today to tell you the truth I'm kind of running out of steam. It's getting on uh, 3 o'clock, so I think we're going to call it a weekend. I still have to mix up some mortar and do that little repair. So I think what we'll do now is just pack it up for the day and uh, clean up real well here. Uh, super clean up that area where the uh, mortar has to be repaired. We'll mix up a small batch of mortar and we'll get that repaired and we will call it a day. So I'll check back with you when all that is done. <laughs> all right we got some uh concrete repair stuff we're gonna put down in that spot and then call it a day so as usual my uh, beautiful cleanup crew comes in and uh, gives a nice hand you're happy we got uh, quite a bit uh quite a bit of wall board up today huh we've got uh, two walls three a lot of walls this is last really big wall to do the That's rest is just today. fitting yeah it's gonna be some tough sledding over here but we'll get her we'll get her done hmm? it's 
So you're a happy girl. We moved, we got awesome. all the stubbins done for the uh, hot and cold water and everything. So we changed out, mounted in the uh, toilet flow, the uh, inlet for the toilet there. Got that all secured down. And uh, it took quite a while to do the inside of that the shower. We still got a little more trim pieces around the window. Well, that was a lot of the window blocking. looks awesome though, doesn't it? That window. Extra blocking. Oh, a yeah. ton of blocking. Everything, uh, everything needed. We haven't done the final. This is all just roughed on right now, and I'll come back when I get and find my leather pouch that hangs on the side and holds my drywall screws. Come and do all the final putting down. But the heat has just been pouring down out of that uh, hole there. I just like I'm trying to work there. I couldn't take it. So, all right. Well. We're going to call it a day, and as usual guys, thanks for being along as we got up some more of the wall today. And I would imagine next weekend we will be pretty much done all the uh, walling and probably doing a lot of the seaming too. And we'll probably waterproof the uh, shower stall. We have the uh, Red Guard, Ready Guard, which we'll mix up, which is, smells horrendous, but it does a beautiful job of uh, waterproofing surfaces and things. And... Uh, get that done we have to do some mortaring between the uh between the joints and seams we got to tape them and everything so all right everything's plumb and true and straight mudding hmm? and taping. all right mudding and taping that's it so worst is the sanding and all that so all right, all right. thank you well just as a postscript got that uh we had a patching compound that we used to raise the level of some of the uh rotted wood we cleaned it out and filled it we use the same stuff it's a uh, cement base but it has an epoxy in it so we did a patch i patched a few low spots uh in there so it uh, looks good to go i'm going to use the same compound when it comes time to uh, work on the seams here the corners and the seams because uh we have to make sure that everything is very very waterproof here okay that's it for today